At noon, Rosalind Carter, she is leaving the Carter Center one last time as the motorcade escorting her body takes her to the Glenn Memorial Church at Emory University. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. We're glad you're with us. Atlanta News First, Adam Murphy starts our coverage this hour as we uh, go back to the Carter Center uh, where we have been waiting for word that the motorcade, including the former First Lady's hearse, will start making the, its way towards the service today. Adam, what's the latest? Good afternoon, Rick. I can tell you that the hearse carrying the casket uh, with the body of the former First Lady, Mrs. Carter, is still here at the Carter Center. You're going to look through this area, this wooded area near the Circle of Flags, close to the Carter Center building, and you will see the hearse is still here at the Carter Center. Uh, we thought that the uh, hearse would have made its way by now over to Glen Memorial Church on the campus of Emory University. But we have not been told from the Carter Center staff here why there's a bit of a delay. Uh, it could be a number of things. I mean, there are several dignitaries that are coming in for the services over there. It could be a traffic concern and, you know, they have to coordinate getting all of the dignitaries into the church as well as bringing the hearse with the casket inside. So a number of factors involved here. I'm sure that's the reasoning behind this right now. Nothing to be alarmed uh, by, but I can tell you it uh, almost feels like uh, this is an omen to how much uh, the former first lady loved the Carter Center. Uh, she's still here. She did a lot of work here. She adored this place. And again, in moments from now, we anticipate that Georgia State Patrol will escort the hearse and also the motorcade that is accompanying it over to Glenn Memorial Church on the campus of Emory University. But it was a beautiful afternoon here. I can tell you we had the color guard bring the casket out. It was draped in the most beautiful flowers you would imagine. We all know that Rosalind Carter loved flowers. She loved butterflies. And so it was just a beautiful tribute and ceremony as they brought the casket from the inside of the Carter Center, placed it in the hearse, and now it's just a matter of time before all of those vehicles in that motorcade, including the hearse, make their way over to Glen Memorial Church. And we are here as it's one final goodbye from the Carter Center. Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.